In this video, you will learn how to convert a database from no archive log mode to archive log mode. So what are the bunch of steps? Number one, first shut down your current database, which is a no archive log mode. Step number two, back up the database. Read log files, control files, and data files. A consistent backup is required so that in case of some problem, at least you can come back to the point where you converted the database from no archive log to archive log. Step number three, you need to make some parameter entries. You can either go and edit a P file or you can start up the instance in no mount mode and make a change with scope equal to SP file. What are these parameters? Number one, you need to specify the destination in which archive log files have to be put into. Number one, it could be a local destination or if you're using data guard, you could have remote databases to which you want to ship these archive logs. Number two, what is the file naming format? There are various options for it. We will look at all these parameters in detail in a separate video. Number three, you also specify the state of various destinations that you specify. Starting 11G release 2, you have up to 30 destinations that you can specify where archive log files can be sent to. Once you've made changes to these parameters, if you made the change with an SP file, shut down the instance and start up mount. When you start up mount, your database has now read the control file. This is where you're going to actually make the change for converting the database from no archive log mode to archive log mode. You just issue the command alter database archive log semicolon enter. Now that your database is converted, open the database with the command alter database open. Now the no archive log database has been converted into an archive log database. Let it not go on. First task, shut down the database and take a complete backup again. The simple reason being you have a complete consistent backup of this database in archive log mode. Alternatively, since the database is in archive log mode, you can take a backup as the database is running also. Either way, it's okay. But for sure take a backup because from now on, this backup that you've taken will be the first backup of this database in archive log mode. This will be the backup that you can use hereafter and archive log files will start getting created going forward for every log switch that happens in this converted database. That's about it. You have converted your database into archive log mode. From now on, you can take consistent backups or inconsistent backups, meaning you have enabled hot backups on your database, plus a lot more options that you can do with your database now.